today's video is going to be on habanero cheesy breadsticks. Uh, the, my habaneros that I grew, some small onions. All these are frozen. And um, half a cup of uh, all purpose flour. And this is about a half a cup of this um, Minute Maid bakery mix for biscuits and stuff like that. Make it rise. So I'm going to take these onions and habaneros, stick them in there, add a little bit of water and uh, mix it in this magic bullet. This is one of my favorite appliances. I love that thing. And uh, I think I'm going to be on a habanero kick for a while. Do probably about another four or five videos on habaneros and then uh, change over. <laughs> so I'm going to put some water in there and blend it up. This time I didn't add any uh, bell peppers. I'm going to save that for my pizzas and stuff like that. I'm going to add a little bit of this um, Italian seasoning. It's pretty good stuff. I like it. And some garlic powder. Make sure you use garlic powder. If you use garlic salt, use very little. And I already had the water in there, so I'm going to put it on the magic bullet and blend it all up. Put it in the batter, in the dough, flour, whatever it is. This has a weird looking color to it. Whenever I add uh, bell peppers, it's always green. The dough ends up green. And stir that up a little bit. So I'll show you what the dough looks like. It's okay if you have um, thicker dough. The pizza, I always like pizza crust to be thin, but this uh, bread, it doesn't matter. I have to Grease that pizza pan. That's what the dough looks like. Let me see if you can see that. There's a little piece of uh, habanero. You can see that. So while you're mixing this up, preheat the oven. 425. Last video I forgot to grease the pan. So I just use a cube of butter. I like the butter. Noise. The uh, grease pan is just like making pizza almost. Boy, my eyes are watering. I don't know, I get a little bit of habanero dust or something went out my nostrils. Okay, that's what the dough looks like after it gets rolled out. And a matter of fact, today's um, New Year's Day. Happy New Year's. Let me see what time it is. It's uh, 11 o'clock almost, 10.52 Mountain Time, January 1st. Yeah, just put the whole can out. See this one here, you don't have to dip your, your uh, breadsticks in sauce. The sauce is already in it. for me to hold this. And then I'm going to add some cheese. We're not going to put any peppers or onions on it. Just going to put some cheese and maybe a little bit more um, garlic salt on it. Okay, that's what the dough and the sauce and the cheese looks like. You can put it in the oven like that and have a cheese pizza. But I have some leftover Spam from my last pizza. Uh, Hawaiian habanero, whatever it was. But all you have to do is cut this with this um, egg slicer, and you have slices of um, spam. You know, start putting those on the edges, and then uh, you roll it up and cut it. I'm going to put some uh, spam along the edges here. So, Yeah, that's one thing about Spam. I don't even know if it's real meat or not, but it's easy to work with. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that's what it looks like right there. That's uh, one of them, so you'll probably get four or five. You know, go across and do the sides.
So I might have used too much sauce on this. Probably half a can could have been sufficient. I record my mistakes, so if people decide to make this, they'll know what to watch out for. This one here, it uh, doesn't have enough dough to roll it up. And if you're going to make these, make sure that the seam is on the top. So just in case they do uh, bubble over or whatever, it will go on the top instead of on the piece of pan. But this one here, I don't think I have enough dough, so it's going to be like a flat piece of pizza. And put it in the oven for, we're going to do 15 minutes on 425, and then the last two on uh, two or three on broil on high. Okay, it's been uh, 15 minutes. I put it on broil. That's what it looks like. Ah, just don't want to burn the bottoms. Uh, we'll put it on broil for about a minute, minute and a half. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. Oh, bad boy is hot. Some butter on these. Yeah, I'm on a habanero kick. I don't know why, I just am. Um, I like hot and spicy. That one there turned out the best, I think, because you can cut that one in half. The other ones had a little bit too much sauce on it. So I still like to, to film my mistakes. Oh, that's more like pizza. You film your mistakes and people will learn, you know. Put a little bit too much sauce. The last time I put too much sauce on the pizza too. So it's probably only a half a can of that. I don't know if they're 12 ounces or what they are. But a half a can would be just right. And this one right here, that one there, that's what they're supposed to look like. That way you can cut them in half or even the bigger ones, you can cut those in thirds. But this is my habanero cheesy bread uh, video with my homemade iced tea. It's not ice, but it's just tea. Healthy tea. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribe. Oh, another thing. I don't think Martha Stewart has anything to worry about. <laughs> Happy New Year.